Hello, my good people. Let's start again. Hello, my good people. I have my hair and makeup done. Well, I actually didn't do shit to my hair except put it up in a half up, half down moment. It's super messy, and I realize that it looks trash on camera. Um, I thought I did something. I was trying things out, but I do like the earrings I have. So besides that, I'm gonna have some yogurt, and I'm going to I'm gonna I'm going to tell you about Bath and Body Works fragrance mists in Australia and I'm going to go in roughly worst to best order but it's not going to be exact because I haven't I've got like 20 fragrance mists from Bath and Body Works so I'm not going to go through all of them sorry I'm not going to like rank them right now because yeah I'm just not going to this is what you're getting so the reason why I'm making this is because I want to show off uh, because I've been collecting for a while <laughs> So I'm making this video, yes, because I can call myself a collector. I have some fragrance mists and I have some body creams and some body lotions and some candles from Bath & Body Works. So I want to tell you what's the tea in Australia because Australian Bath & Body Works is absolutely atrocious. First of all, if you're even lucky enough to have a store within like an hour's worth of travel around you, even then they're not great. But even worse, like there's only what, like four stores in Australia? hello like i guess i should just tell you now what the tea is the tea is that these retail for something like 30 dollars like on the website when you go onto the website first of all shipping is like over 125 dollars like if you're not super into like collecting things that's ridiculous that's absolutely atrocious like it should be at least like no more than 50 dollars free shipping but it's fine it's over 125 so the only time that I have ordered online, yes, it was over $125, but it was like a semi-annual sale. So, okay, I'm all over the place. For those who don't know anything about Bath & Body Works, whether you're in Australia or not, or whatever, Bath & Body Works is a North American scent brand. Like, they do candles, they do hand soaps, they do hand sanitizers, they do your body mist, they do your body lotion, and they do body creams, and they also do scrubs. Oh, shower gels too shower gels as well it's a thing in the states to kind of collect things or at least like some people like to collect fragrances and like particularly in the mist form i think when people think of fragrance mist they immediately think like childish or they think teenager spraying after pee like trying to freshen up i think maybe that's why i got into it is because i never had a fragrance mist um growing up that i could quickly spray on like the my mom didn't even let me wear deodorant okay like she was like aluminium i couldn't i sometimes i did when i'm like oh my god i just can't go and like go back to class now after pe after i've just sweated i don't know hormonal sweat i suppose is like a bit more icky anyway so in the states it's probably like more you know capitalistic and they're like let me get out my bath and body works fragrance let me get out my blah 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 branded blah 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 just everything branded and they spray it on and so maybe when they grow older they're like oh okay like you know i'm kind of over it um but i never got into it so therefore this is my hobby and i do think that it has some merit to them i don't think they're all just like little childish fragrances um hence why i've collected a shit ton um that is maybe 200 dollars worth probably more just of fragrance mists and i have a lot more lotions and creams than fragrance mists so look i've put like a good amount of money into bath and body works in australia with their four stores when you go in person and when you go online at the original retail price for these fragrance mists is around 30 dollars each now that is ridiculous you are not getting your money's worth unless it's a super rare item to find you're not getting your money's worth um you should be buying your mists at no more than 15 dollars aud and the way you can do that is you can sign up to their mailing lists and they tell you like they'll send an email and they'll do promotions and they'll say you know 15 dollars today only or they have semi-annual sales twice a year they have month long almost two month longs two month long sale periods and in those sale periods they kind of discount not all their products but but select products so some of these you could even find for like seven dollars depending on how much they want to get rid of it pretty much there's a large discrepancy between scents that are available in australia and that are available in the us 
the US gets their sense like normal if you're a consumer they like if they say you know new release Halloween collection you're gonna get that in stores here you're not gonna get it unless like on very special occasions we are also like I want to say like three or four releases behind the states the most recent thing that we got was Midsummer Night's Dream however I did actually check on the website a few days ago and they have added the full collection the one that had the little white badge on it and the really pretty packaging I have not checked in the physical store that I'm lucky enough to be able to go to um, if they have it I would assume they do but we don't know because Australian stock is a bit not great you know I don't think Bath and Body Works is such a priority here as it is in the States there's no culture behind it like a community culture it's just I mean I don't know anyone who p collects Bath and Body Works fragrance in this there are people in the store but I don't know if anyone's collecting okay I think I've gotten everything out of the way that I needed to explain so I am going to rank these in I'm forgetting some hold on actually I'll just because I was just thinking like where's my least favorite fragrance and it's in this box oh boy is it in this box maybe I should mention that I started collecting in I want to say like April this year so not a while and I've already got a shit ton so that's fun and none of them have a really big dent in it because I like to you know rotate between them and I'm not such an oversprayer so we are going to begin with none other than Paris Amour okay um fragrance notes I don't know I try to look it up see like what is this this is actually fat do not buy this this one I got online they don't usually have these in store it's actually not that bad ones no I changed. it's just awful like just don't get it it's people say like oh I love it it's super pink it's super floral like pink florals and berries it's just yuck it's actually disgusting I've I refuse to wear it on my skin um what will I do with it I'm not sure collect dust at the moment cool we might go with pink chiffon now this is good this is pretty similar in packaging to this one but one is foul one is bearable only problem with this one is that it has no lasting power whatsoever when you pair it with the lotion it can be okay but even then like it's not that long um this is pear this is um chiffon i realized that chiffon was an actual fragrance note i thought it was like just a fancy french word i'm guessing it's a floral jokes it's not actually a floral but i don't know if it's a fabric or a cake does fabric have a smell does wool have a smell does anything have a smell please let me know i'm guessing it's a cake ah this one is nice it's quite sweet quite pear-y it's a very strong pear so if you're into pear in your lighter fragrances this would be good you may find that my scent preferences are that i like I don't mind pear, I don't love pear by any means, but I don't mind it in lighter fragrances, in heavier fragrances, get it away. Like, well, yeah, I just find that it's a common theme that I don't like it. Next, I think I'm going to do coconut palm. Now, I got this as a recommendation from Self Care Catherine, and I love her channel, but I don't love this. I think she was a big fan of just the whole coconut range. Um, and this was actually the only, I think she recommended this. I might be wrong. I don't want to like throw her under the bus. <laughs> I'm not doing that anyway, obviously. Um, but this was the only coconut one that was um, actually available. This was the only one, I swear. And this was online during the summer annual sale for something like $9. And I can't really smell it, but it's, yeah, very palmy, coconutty, but just overall not that wearable especially on its own if i were to wear this i'd put it with another fragrance and it just happens to be that i don't really know what would pair with this it's okay i think look summer's coming up i might whip her out a few times and see how i like it but right now it's a it's fine i haven't i'll be yeah fully transparent i haven't worn either of these just because this one i can't find an occasion to this one is foul this one i have worn and that's why i'm I can comment on the lasting power. Okay. Oh, okay. This is an interesting one. Honeysuckle. This one has the fragrance notes on the back, which are apple blossom, dewy honeysuckle, and sun-washed woods. I also got this in an online order, 
and I was like I've never seen that before like neither obviously not in Australia but not even in um American videos and I want to like it and it's really nice I'm just not it's not for me I want to say it's the apple blossom I think if it were apple on it's fine and it were like quite crisp I'd be okay I'm guessing like if you don't love chiffon scents then you might not like this but I do somewhat this isn't my favorite but I can bear it this one I want to like and I like can appreciate it and I can appreciate it's a scent that people enjoy but I don't love it I think it's also a bit of an it's a fragrance for like older audiences I'd say like it would be a really nice gift for your mom for your grandma even this and like the little shower gels and body moisturizers so I can appreciate her but I have not worn her because I think I will though I think I'm like getting used to her slowly but it's not worth buying it as a blind buy because you might not like it I think I want to say more vanilla sugar now people love this and this is the old packaging we have both in Australia but this one was the one on special at the time so this is the older formula I'm aware and apparently it's better than the more vanilla sugar the modern version I have the modern the the modern the new body lotion of wood more vanilla sugar and I do like it and I like this except I don't think it works well with heat any kind of heat literally like stay in the sun for a few seconds and it will just be gross and st like sticky not like physically sticky but you'll just smell sticky and you won't smell nice and clean and like I did feel like I wanted it a good few times and yeah it's nice it's really nice if we had a proper winter here I feel like I'd like it a bit more for layering but any kind of heat this just doesn't make me feel great but I appreciate her weirdly I I think I'd want it sweeter this is just kind of or maybe I take that back I'm not sure it's just missing something it's it's missing something but also it's too much take that as you will hmm Oh, I do also have mini mists. I should include those. Hello Beautiful over there, which is nothing remarkable. It's just white flower, and honestly, like, the first initial spray is awful. It like, stinks of alcohol. If I'm in a white floral mood and I'm into, like, smelling clean and stuff, then I will put it on, And but, like, the last thing counts. It's not great. Um, Winter Candy Apple, I really like her this is like good for all year round i wouldn't say this is limited to winter at all these ones on special are about four dollars when you buy them during like the semi-annual sales and these for my australian viewers these are always on sale so therefore never buy at full price like literally don't even bother um twisted peppermint i do like actually um it's a bit weird on its own it's like why would you smell like mint but i get it though i do also get it i would like layer this lightly and then put another nice scent on top i'm not sure what i would though maybe something like kind of crisper i'm thinking magic in the air which i'll talk about later this is all right versus coconut snowball is like vanilla ice cream it's so nice i do love her i used to wear this one quite a bit and it's good i like her yeah no i haven't got much to say um it might not be for you it, it might be a bit more juvenile, but I like it. Next, rosé. Oh, sorry, rose, not rosé. Um, I think I've worn this once. And it's, it's just rose. Um, I have another rose body mist that I prefer to this, but it's nice. It's nothing special. I don't really recall what the longevity was like, but probably not that great. Okay, I'll probably have to go with Cotton Blossom next. So this one... Um, in Australia they've recently come out with the body cream or they've like stocked a body cream version of this this is nice this is really good this is it's it's what it is it's cotton blossom this is like nice light laundry detergent um the reason why it's not ranked as high is because it just doesn't last long at all but you know like if you're in desperate times and desperate measures are, are called then you could spray this on your shirt and be like this isn't great, but this is how we're going to make it work. That's what this is for. I haven't reached for her in a while. Not that my clothes have been necessarily clean. 
I don't know. Sometimes, like, putting fragrance on top of dirty clothes, like, just doesn't work. But sometimes it does. You just have to catch a vibe. You have to try it out a few times. I might do this one next. Um, just because I don't really wear her. This is Endless Weekend. I have the shower gel in this too, which I have not tried. It is underneath my bed with all my other unused things. This is super generic body mist. Like somewhat long lasting, sure, but you know, you can top up during the day and it's not gonna overpower anyone. It's just a body mist kind of thing. There's nothing interesting about this, if you know what I mean. That's that. It's a safe bed, it's a safe blind buy. And this would be one of the ones that I would like spray after PE if I were, you know, sweaty and if I were cool and carried a little body mist with me and did my deodorant and did my body mist. That's what I would do. Hmm. I think I want to put Velvet Sugar. I don't really reach for her. I have worn her a few times, but Lasting Power is trash. Um, this is really nice. This is your kind of berries. Yeah, it's... Some days I smell it better than others. But it's, yeah... It's, it's not a gourmand by any means, but it's... This is also in the same realm as this. These are just ones you can quickly spray on. Yeah, it's just like a berry sweet fragrance. Lasting Power is pretty awful. At least for me, I can't smell it. So therefore it's in that ranking. I'm actually going to pick... Mm, I might pick Dahlia first. Sorry, <laughs> Dahlia. This was one of the first fragrances I got. And this is identical, but less sweet, to Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. I've mentioned this in the previous video. Check it out here if I can figure out how to link it. We've been new. Um, so this one has fragrance notes. They are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and, wink and Winked. Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. And this is... It's a nice fragrance. It's just a bit heavy. And the pear comment I made earlier, this one has strong, strong pear. And it's a more mature fragrance. I learned through this fragrance that I don't love pear in more mature sense. But it is really nice. I'm not going to deny that. It's just not for me right now. I do have other things I prefer to wear. But I do appreciate her. And... The packaging is stunning, but I won't be repurchasing in any other form of body care just because I don't love the scent. Bit too floral. People say it's grandma -y. Yeah, I guess so. But, like, it's good. There's no way saying it's bad because it's really nice and it's really long-lasting. It dries down to be very sweet, so maybe that's why I don't like it, but, like, sweet pear... Like a dusty pear sweet. So, Dahlia. Oh, it's getting harder. Controversial, but I think I'm gonna place You're the One next. Oh, ho, ho, don't get mad at me. I know this is people's favourite thing. And I bought the Glowition, Glowition body butter before I bought this. And like, I don't really use it that often just because it's so glittery. I, did, I didn't realise it was a glittery body butter when I first bought it. And then, yeah, I, I don't love the formula. Also, it would get on my clothes and stuff, like the glitter. I'm not really about that. I don't really get the hype with this one. So the notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. Your confidence sparkling beautiful. You're the one, my bien ami. Um, bien ami? I've never heard of that saying. Huh. This is people's favourites. People swear by this and they're like, girl, it's a perfume kind of longevity. It's not. Longevity is not great. And the scent is not that spectacular. It's just not. I'm so sorry. But I'm also not because you're just overhyping this for no reason. This is nothing special. I've worn it. I don't hate it. But it's just like, okay, you don't even last that long. Maybe if I had the body cream. But like, without the body cream, it doesn't last long. 
it's super like it's when I say it doesn't last long it doesn't last long not even an hour for me I swear I don't smell it <laughs> I want to put sunshine mimosa next oh <laughs> I'm getting myself into hot water okay hear me out I love the scent the longevity is awful <laughs> and look at that bottle oh my god and the little spritzer it's beautiful and it's a really nice citrusy scent um the notes are bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus but the lasting power is nothing and also i can barely smell it i smell like champagne and a light touch of citrus like i want to love her but it's just not great i think if you paired it with a body lotion this could go well but you know, a fragrance mess on their own should hold their own ground, you know? And, like, I find that body lotions are sometimes even more fragrant than the fragrance mists. Okay? I think I want to do Tahiti Island Dream. This one was a online purchase and during some my annual sale. Um, I hadn't heard on... I hadn't heard about it on American Bath & Body Works videos. Um, I really like it. This is kiwi fruit. I like immediately get kiwi fruit from this. This is really pleasant. And I've just sn snipped up alcohol. Which isn't so pleasant. It's very light. N not great longevity, but... I don't know, kiwi's not really a note you get usually, so maybe that's why I'm partial to this. Tahiti Island Dream. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm trying to decide between these three. Mad About You with Vanilla Chiffon and Be Joyful. I think I'm going to go Be Joyful just because the only time I want to wear this fragrance is like when I'm wearing the body cream for the sake of matching. And I only want to wear the body cream because I want to use up all my body creams and I can't decide. That's what this is. So Be Joyful. I got this because this is the 2021 limited yeah limited edition 2021 and i'm like well yeah i'm getting limited edition so this is it doesn't have the notes but it's something like mango frosted clementine and white flower or something i get like cocktail from this i get the same idea as sunshine mimosa just less citrusy and the mango is quite strong um in a way, I wish it were a sweeter mango, because if I had not been told there was mango in there, I wouldn't have known. It's super light. It's a bit unremarkable. She's fine. Okay. I think I'm going to do with Vanilla Chiffon, because I love the packaging, and I really, really wanted Blooming Garden from this one, because Blooming Garden, I think, yes, was my first ever Bath & Body Works purchase. And I got it in the lotion form, and I think there was a mist when I got it. And this was, like, last year. When I wasn't collecting, I was just looking. Um, and, yeah, I really wanted to find the mist. I was even ready to pay a big box, but I was like, $30 is too much. And the thing is, you can't find it. So they'll bring it back during semi-annual sales, but you can't find it anywhere else. You can't even really get from resellers. Unless you purchase them from America. And in that case, the shipping is going to get be worse in price than the actual thing. This is nice. But it's very particular. You can't... Like, I can imagine not many people liking this. It's vanilla. And it's the same chiffon note as the um, pink chiffon. And I think another one I mentioned that might have it. The honeysuckle one, I think. I do like it, but it's quite particular and it's fairly strong. This one has good longevity. And the note that lasts the longest is the chiffon note. So if you're not into it, I'd recommend maybe, or if you're not sure you're into it, I recommend getting like a shower gel of a chiffon scented thing. So whether that be with vanilla chiffon, whether that be pink chiffon, or anything else that you find the word chiffon on it, um, I suggest getting like a cream or a lotion because you're more likely to use that than you are to use up a fragrance mist like i've you know with some of these i've used i've worn them plenty of times 
This one I've worn at least three times. I don't know. It's some kind of damp, but it's, you know, it's going to take me a while, which is good. You want them to last long, but at the same time, like, these are going to last for a decade, honestly. And I'm planning to buy more. Okay, next is Mad About You. This one is actually my most recent purchase, I think. Well, one of my most recent. Um, this is really nice, don't get me wrong. This is really lovely. It's just nothing special. Pink floral, black currant. But I take it back. Like, it's very wearable, and then it's kind of a scent, like, I don't know what to wear. That's where this one comes in handy. So, like, I don't know what to wear. I don't want to be super sweet. I don't want people to, like, notice how I smell. Like, you know, like, you know, I want to smell good, but I don't want people to be like, she smells good. It's just, like, unstated, in a way. This is fine. Longevity is not great. It's fine. It's nothing interesting. 